Hey everybody, <laughs> this is blooper card day. Uh, all the things that I tried to do and didn't like something about it or <laughs> half of it's only cute and the rest of it's terrible. So this is generally what I make my cards out of. So I'm going to do this one. I haven't done this size before, so hang with me while we make all our little templates, but it's something that you can use on all the cards. So this is the picture that was a flop like this, hate that. So, this is my envelope, because I want a long one. I don't want to chop it off, because you really can't tell what it's doing. So, this is the envelope I'm going to use. It's one of those, what, 10, number 10s or something. So, what I've got to do is understand what the card size is that's going to go in this. So, what I do is, let me move this, because I already cut that and kind of got started. So, this is uh, going to be my card. So what I do, and this is rough, I know there's lots of easier ways to do this, but this is my way and this is how I do it. So here's my card and I wanna leave a little extra here. So I mark kind of the center. I come over here and I mark it a little shorter. Now I'm ignoring the center part cause that's not gonna come into play. Then what I need to also do before I start cutting is do the length on it some will I want to have it you'll see have it sticking out here and then I'll mark it there so that's my two lines this one and this one that I'm gonna cut by I love these little cutters uh, sit you up just a little bit you can see a tad better um, so I need to find my marks first of all there we go so I put my mark there, right in the groove. There's that piece. Keep these things, you never know when you're gonna need to cut something out with dye or color swatch something to see what it's gonna do on your picture. Always keep your scraps. And then I've got grandkids that wanna play and guess what they get to do. All right, ooh, there we go. All right. So there is my card and what it's going to look like. Oh, let me show you something really cool. So this is going to be roughly right at eight inches, tad under. So I'm going to do it just an inkling under the four inch mark. Now these are the stylus that I was telling you about in other videos where they have little balls on the end and the little groove right here makes a perfect place to put a crease down your card so when you go to fold it, it you don't have a big mess. So it just folds real easy. All right, so there's our card. Then what I want to do is go back, pretend this is still together. And what I did was I set it down and drew around it, understanding that I need it smaller than this, but this is my template that I have so far. Now, something else I did, and I won't go through trying to make it, um, is I also set down my card on this piece of paper. I drew around it, and then I cut it out. And the way I did that was I lined it up where I wanted to cut, I picked it up, moved my blade down, put it down, and then cut to my corners and just slid it back and forth so I could cut that out. So it gives me an idea on what the picture is going to look like before I cut it. Because I may want to move it around. I may want it something like this. I chose this one. You know, so it gives you an idea where you want your picture so you can lay it down, trace on the inside of it, and then cut it a little bit shorter. I don't have all the great measurements, but that's generally how I do it. So I've put this down. I understand I need to cut a little inside the line. And so that's where I'm at here in the process of I'm just trying to get it a little shorter. And that's if you don't want to put a border. If you want to put a border, which is so easy to do. Um, I'm gonna show you on one of the other cards because we're gonna do about three today. I've got some bloopers that I need to fix. 
and cards to send out. So, but this one I might let ride. Okay. Call this out. So here it is on my card. Um, it's still, hmm, it's close to the same size and I don't like it. So I want to go through, sorry, hit that lamp. Go through and cut this down just a little bit. see okay not too bad a little long so let's take it down this way also and I know you probably want me to hurry up and get on with it but I just want to show you the process on how to kind of go through and put these things on so there's a card now again I think it'd be really cool with a, an outline, but let's just do black when all else fails. So what I want to do here is I'll just take it go along this line because this white and this white are different whites and it's going to make a bit of a difference. Or you can do swirlies like this, add something different. Nah, it doesn't even make a difference. On alcohol paper, it would. I keep calling it alcohol paper. On photo paper, it would show up differently to do swirls and things like that. So here is this. And now here, let me get a white piece of paper so you can see. There's your card. Now, that does look a lot better. Okay, I like that. So that's what I would generally put. Now you can always put some sentiment right here or um, something up and down the side or leave it. I like it the way it is. So there's uh, our first card. So let's jump over here to one of our other ones. Okay, so I'm done with that size. This is going to be this size of envelope. I'm going to use a vertical cut card and there's my blooper picture and I ended up splattering it and then going through and putting dots inside of dots okay this is the one I made for the smaller again I took my piece of paper I cut one smaller than that I just put it in uh, the cutter and did the square I don't just take it all the way to the edge you want to stop like this so there this is my my little card viewfinder and this is how I decide where I want to do my card this side and you just kind of move it around until you think well I like that or this which that is where I like it so I'm going to mark this one and if you don't want to draw, you can just dot the corners and then kind of line them up because it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've got all that measured out. Here is the alcohol ink paper. No, no, it's the photo paper. Let's do the side. The photo paper is a little smaller than my card. And then I'm going to put this on top of it. So this is going to be the border. And I'm going to show you how to do the border. I want it a little frilly. And since you can do swirls, it'll show up. I want to do something like that.
And whether or not you like these cards, just the technique is what I'm really wanting to teach everybody. And there you go. Quick little card. Put whatever you want to on the inside. And if you've got a die in the little roller pressy things, um, do this. Do uh, the border thing to make your colored paper. Stamp your sentiments out on that. And you've got them the same color as your card. So you can really coordinate that way. Now, third card, last card. These are some of the fun little things I did with markers. I put my markers, and I've got videos on that, and I'll list them in the comment below or stick them up above. Um, I know how to do that now. So I do that, and then I blow it out, and these are fun, and there's a lot of cards you can do on one sheet of paper like that. Again, let's get our little binder thing. And, of course, my eye goes straight to that one. You can sit there and look and... Even that one's pretty. I think I want to go with this one. I like the green sticking in it. So, I kind of want some of this purple over here. So, I'm going to do it like that. And stick my dots in the corner. And there's my dot. And. Okay, this is going to be a little off center because I actually turned it. So I'm going to put my dots in the center of my, my viewfinder thing right here. And cut with them because that's what I moved my uh, little frame to. And after all that, all these will be straight. Now, keep these. You can find tons of other stuff. Yeah, cut them out, let the kids glue them. Uh, cut your sentiments out on them. Cut other things out. I always keep all those. So, here we are. Do we want a border? Yes, we do. Yellow or peachy. I kind of want to do that color. So, let's see what I can find that matches uh, R107. Looks like a winner. So, R107. And this is those Bayano or however you say it. They are the coolest things. Let me say. Let me show it to you real quick. They come in this little box. And if you're on Amazon, I happen to get these. Sorry, I knocked my light out. Um, cheaper than they were having them listed because they said the box was damaged. The box was not damaged. So I got them $10 cheaper. So there's those. There's your swatches. Um, you can set them like this if you want to look at your swatches with them. I find that doing swatches on the paper you're going to use them on is a lot better. So, but still, cool little box. And when I store them, I store them up like this so that the alcohol ink does not run to one side or the other and dry out the other side. So I always store them laying down. Okay, 107, that was what we've got. There we go. And I really like coloring my backgrounds because I don't have to worry about buying all this paper. This card is cut, is folded really crooked. Um, I don't have to worry about stocking a lot of paper. I can make mine as I need it, which is going to just save you lots of money. So there is that. That's going to fit on top of it. So now let's do that.
And we are almost done. See, not too bad. That's the coolest tape ever. All right, so here's this. And these will be so cute, it makes your friends want to get sick, so you'll send them a card. And it's a good way to not throw away your art, which is fabulous, but it gives you an opportunity to force it on others, which is always a good thing. All right, so there's that one. And there's that one. And we didn't glue this one down, but you got it. And there's that one. So I hope that was super helpful. And get out there and make cards. People love homemade cards. It makes them feel good that you've spent the time to do that for them. So y'all go have fun.